Hey guys, it's so cold outside, it's all about pallet stoves now. My uh, vacuum, my ash vacuum is not working anymore. I used it when the pallets were strapped and then the plastic inside of it started melting all around the engine. So when I try to use it, it's so slow that it takes forever to, to suck anything. So uh, I checked online and I found this was the cheapest in the market, the Snow Joe. It had good, good reviews. So I thought, why not? Did you know? Okay, so to start with, the filter on this one is like really big. Now this is the filter, the filter bag, I say, I'd say. Then we have this part. This is the cover. Okay, I'll just put it this way for now. Just randomly. So let's see. I'll check the price and I'll, I'll ask it when I when I know it. But it was like uh, way cheaper. This is the cheapest on the market. This no joke. Light. To be honest, I like this one, this new one, but I haven't tried it yet. Oh, check this out. Okay. So I'm holding the camera while installing it. I hope you can see clearly. It's too easy to put in here, and we're basically all set. To be honest, I hate this. Sort of scares me, you know? Okay, yeah, easy. Okay, let's use it now. Just a quick comparison between the Snow Joe and the Power Smith before I use the Snow Joe. First of all, and most important is that this one, the Snow Joe, doesn't have a brush. And I really hate that, you know? And I hate this as well. It's metallic, I don't know, it's scary. This one has a brush and has too many things with it. those when I used to clean them with the old uh, with the old vacuum I would get the brush plug it into the vacuum and then vacuum like that right but with this one I cannot do that so I don't know I have probably to do this and I definitely do not like that I check online if I can buy a brush for it but I mean should be included.
I'm gonna try to uh, to vacuum those. Let's see how good this is. So far so good. Using the brush, I could clean all of this inside, but with this one I cannot. It's really hard. So let's try again. I don't know how to use that. Not practical. That part over there is probably the most important part to clean up the stove. And I'm not able to clean it with this one, it's too big. It doesn't go inside, it doesn't really have to go all the way to the inside, but at least here on the outside and somewhat on the inside. But it's not going there, which is bad. The metal of the metal is really annoying. I mean, like, you need a brush. I hate that. So, what I'll do now is I'll use the brush on the inside without the vacuum. Then I'll back, which is pretty annoying. So I tried to use it on the inside. It's really bad. There are some spots where I could not reach, like the air intake. Plus, you know, I have to. I, I need to use the brush inside, and this is too long. I cannot use it on the corners. So, so far I don't really like it, unless I find the, I find the brush.
I need to buy a brush now. Now, if the brush is for like $12, that's fine because this is like 50 bucks. Plus, this one here is too thick. It doesn't go everywhere, which is pretty annoying. This one here was thinner and I could go into many more places and it's shorter, I guess. Plus, the top is in plastic. You can put plastic stuff on top plus the brush. So if I knew, I would have purchased this one. And now we have a very important message. Please like and subscribe to our 